Hello and welcome everyone to another Khan Academy tutorial. We are doing area and perimeter on the coordinate plane. I am Mr. West, let's go ahead and get started. Here we have, find the approximate perimeter of rectangle ABCD, plotted below. It gives us the coordinates here. It doesn't even tell us where the origin is, but it's not necessary and I'll explain how. And then it has a multiple choice. The first thing I would do is you can apply the distance formula to find the side lengths. If we're trying to find perimeter, perimeter is the sum of all the side lengths. So we're gonna have to add those all up together. Um, couple hints it gives us. One, it tells us it's a rectangle. Rectangles, perimeter is technically two times the length plus two times the width. The reason why is because these distances are the same and these distances are the same. So we can just find the length, double it, the width, double it, and add those two together. You can use the distance formula. The distance formula is this. I'm gonna write it out real quick. It's x, uh, sorry, x2 minus x1 uh, squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and take the square root of that sum. That's the distance formula. My preference though is to quickly use the Pythagorean theorem. Let me show you how. Well, I need to draw the legs of a triangle, a right triangle, as so. Now this is a right triangle because we're using the vertical and horizontal axes to find uh, the side lengths and therefore they're perpendicular, therefore they make a right angle. Now I'm calculating the distance here. So the distance, the vertical distance is gonna be the blue, is gonna be the Y coordinate. That distance is five. Zero to five is five units. Then I need to find the horizontal distance. So I'm going from negative six to positive four. That's 10. Or if you want, you can count it over, but I like to take shortcuts where I can. Like I was saying earlier, that same distance is gonna be on this side. So I could either redo the triangle again, or I could just trust that the Pythagorean theorem is, or sorry, the rectangle ha is gonna have these two opposite sides as equal, okay? And I'm just gonna double that. So I don't really need those lines drawn there but I do need to apply the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared is gonna be equal to c squared, the hypotenuse, the side that is opposite the 90 degree angle, okay? That's always the longest side. So here we have a squared, I'm gonna call that 10 squared. b squared, we're gonna call five squared. And then c squared, we're gonna leave. That's the guy we're trying to find. Now we have 100 plus 25 equals c squared. So we get the square root of 125. Sorry, I should I should take that into two steps. So 125 equals c squared. And to get c squared by itself, I take the square root of both sides. So I have 100, square root of 125. I'm gonna find the decimal form of this because that's what the answers it's giving me. But technically you could leave this as a radical. So this is about 11.18. Okay, now, like I said earlier, two times the length. So if we call this our length, we need to double that. Two times our length is 11.18. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. We're gonna calculate this in a little bit. Now we need to find our width. We're gonna do the same thing with Pythagorean theorem, AKA the distance formula. It's the same thing, people. So don't be upset about it. I'm gonna draw this over and then I'll draw this down. So I form a right uh, triangle. This distance, I go from four to eight this time, so that's only a distance of four, and then I go from five to negative three, that's a distance of eight. So I need to do another Pythagorean theorem over here. So I have eight squared plus four squared, and that's gonna be equal to, let's make it green this time, is equal to C squared. That's 64 plus 16, and that's equal to C squared. I need to uh, add those together, I get 80, and that's equal to C squared, take the square root, so I C equals the square root of 80. Now the square root of 80, we're gonna calculate the decimal form of this, and that is 8.9, so two times 8.9 to find our sum of the widths, and then we're gonna add this all up to find our perimeter. So I'm gonna multiply this by two, then I'm gonna add this to 11.18 times two, and when I do that, I get, uh, this is what I was doing right now on my calculator. That's what a calculator looks like. That's what I typed in. And I got 40.25 uh, about. So I'm gonna look for that answer. Okay, so I, the, B is the only thing that comes close. Check it. And there we go, next question. 
So that was perimeter. Now it's asking for the area. So with area, all I need is the length and the width for a rectangle. So I need to find this length here and then this width. It doesn't matter which one you call the length and width as long as you calculate it. We're gonna do the same thing we did before by finding the, essentially using the distance formula. Oops, I used blue last time. So I need to find that vertical distance and then this horizontal distance. And really what I'm doing here is I'm not counting, like I said earlier, I'm looking for the distance between negative eight and four and that's 12. And then I'm looking at the distance between zero and four and that's four. So now I have 12 squared. I'm gonna do this all in purple, 12 squared plus four squared and that is equal to my C squared for my L. And essentially I could call that L squared if I wanted to, now that you guys know what I'm talking about. 12 squared is 144. I'm gonna add that to 16, and that's gonna be equal to L squared. 144 plus 16, that gives me 160. So now I have the square root of 160 for L, and that is equal to, uh, survey says, 12.6. So this is 12.6 is equal to L, L. Okay, now I need to move on to W. W is similar. Okay, I'm gonna count the horizontal distance first. It goes from four to six, so that's only two. Uh, I didn't even draw correctly here. Let me fix it by drawing the vertical distance, and the vertical goes from four to negative two, so that's six, so it's a two by six triangle. Two squared plus six squared equals the width squared. That's gonna be four plus 36 equals W squared. That's 40 equals W squared. Take the square root, 40 times Oh, sorry, 40 to the square root is 6.3. So 6.3 equals my W. So now I need to multiply 6.3 times 12.6, and that's going to be my area for this shape, and I get 80. So I'm looking for 80. So, uh, uh, sorry, 12.6 times 6.3 equals area. Area equals uh, 80. And now it's square units. So whatever this is, that's units squared. So 80 squared, there it is. It should say square units, but it doesn't. Okay. Um, find the approximate perimeter. Uh, we, this is another problem. Essentially, we're gonna do the same thing, people. Uh, hopefully we can do this uh, quickly. So um, this is a one, oops. Let's just use all the same color here. Uh, this distance here is gonna be I need to calculate each distance. This is gonna be annoying because I have to do this three times now. So that's two squared plus two squared equals C squared. That is four plus four, so that's the square root of eight equals C. And so C equals, that's gonna be my C, is gonna be square root of eight. Eight square root, and that's 2.8. So that's 2.8. I need to add that to my next C. Let's do that one in blue. Okay, I go from that's gonna be a five by seven. So five, seven, so five squared plus seven squared equals my next C squared. That's 25 plus 49. I'm gonna take the square root of that and I get C equals 8.6. Doing that quickly now. And my last one, let's go to green. Okay, my last C. And uh, I'm gonna be adding these up in just a minute. Okay, there's my next triangle and I go from negative four to three, so that's seven, and then I go from one, that's five, another. It's the same length, so I can just repeat that. I have my other C as 8.6. So I'm just adding 8.6 plus 8.6 plus 2.8, and I'm gonna get close to 20.00, that's 20.0. Next question, here's our last one. Find the area. Now, area of a triangle is one half base times height. Area equals one half base times the height we need to find our base. Now it gives us the height. The height is always perpendicular to the base. This one's tricky. You're thinking, okay, which one's my base? Well, first we need to find what is perpendicular. What two things are perpendicular to each other? We have this distance here is perpendicular to this dotted line. Now, if we transfer this over, that would also be the height. It would be perpendicular to that side. So these two things are the height. It's the same distance. I didn't draw it well. Let me try it one more time just so I can draw it a little bit better. But that distance is the same. That height is the same. Okay, we're going, the height is perpendicular to the base. So we're gonna call this side, this length, that's gonna be our base. Not with that, 
okay? So only this part, this is tricky, only this part is our base, okay? So that's our base. Our height, we have identified, so now we just need to find those distances. This might be useful to use um, distance formula here, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing the same thing I was doing, which is creating these triangles. So I have this one by three triangle, one, three. So I do one squared, which is one, plus nine, I'm doing this triangle, trying to find the hypotenuse, by the way, which is h. Three squared plus one squared equals h squared, just as a reference. So I get 10 equals h squared, and then I take the square root and I get 3.16. So 3.16 is my height. I need to multiply that by one half, and then I also need to find the distance of this base. So this base is that distance right here in yellow, and that's a two by, what's that horizontal distance is six. 2 by 6, so 2 squared plus 6 squared equals my base squared. Uh, it kind of looks weird with that. I'll call that B1. How about that? Just so it's different than the normal A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's 36 plus 4. That's 40. I think we did this one earlier, and we got 6.3. So I need to multiply. This. That's my height. This is my base, 6.3. And now I just multiply them together. So times my height, which is 3.16. I'm typing this on my calculator right now, times 0.5, that's the same thing as one half, and I get 9.99999, which is essentially area equals 10 units. So I'm looking for 10 as my answer, square units, and there we go. That's all the time we have. I hope you enjoyed this Khan Academy tutorial. Look forward to seeing you next time on West Explains Best. Check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.